Okay, med student, tell us about our new patient. Uh, he recently returned from a trip to Ghana during which he was treated for malaria. Plasmodium falciparum. <gasps> Infectious disease. I didn't see you there. Malaria is number three on the infectious disease top 10 most wanted list, right behind Ebola and all the diarrhea ones. But don't we have vaccines? There are subunit vaccines, but their effect is modest and short-lived. GA1, a whole genetically attenuated plasmodium parasite with short intrahepatic development, has been studied, but the efficacy was low. Is there anything better? Potentially, with GA2. <gasps> It's a genetically attenuated plasmodium that arrests later in the parasite's development and so exposes the immune system to a broader array of antigens. There was a trial published about this in the New England Journal of Medicine. Ooh, story time. 43 adults who had not had malaria were randomly assigned to receive three immunization sessions, each with 50 bites from mosquitoes infected with GA1, 50 bites from mosquitoes infected with GA2, and 50 bites from uninfected mosquitoes. Who would volunteer for that? Excuse me. These people represent the best that humanity has to offer. They're infectious disease heroes. Show some respect, please. All the subjects were then infected with unattenuated plasmodium falciparum. The primary endpoint was the number and severity of adverse events and blood stage parasitemia, indicating breakthrough infection. What did they find? Protective efficacy was greater in GA2 than in GA1 or placebo. Yes! Does this mean the end of malaria? Soon, my son. Soon.